So in the last class we are discussing about this uh, traffic light control using 8086. So I have given the arrangement. So now we have to write the program. So I'll write the program here. So basically here I am going to use all these uh, ports as output ports. Here you are using port A, here you are using port B, here you are using port C. Because we have to connect LED to all these uh, ports, we have to program all the ports as output ports. For that, the instructions are you have to take ATH into AL register, then you have to out onto port A. I will assume that the port A address is FCH. So, these two instructions will program all the ports as output ports. Now coming for this uh, first operation which is glow red along W and E. So red along W and E means red along W is connected to PB0, red along W is connected to PA0. So you have to make PB0 and PA0 as 1 so that red will be glow along west and east directions. So for that I am taking move AL with 0, 1 H. I will output onto port A as well as port B. Out port A address is FCH, comma AL. So these two instructions will glow red along east direction. This will glow red along east. Similarly, red along west direction we have to output onto port B because red is connected to PV0. So we have to out because the contents of AL remain same F D H. F D is the address of port B. So this instruction will glow red along west is on. Now what you have to do? We have to glow green along north and south so that the passenger can pass from south to north as well as north to south. So green is connected to PC6, green is connected to PC1 here, okay? only port C. So what I am going to do is here port C, PC1 and PC0 should be 1. PC, uh, 1 and PC 6 should be 1. So, PC 7, PC 6, PC 5, PC 4, PC 3, PC 2, PC 1, PC 0. Among this, green is connected to PC 1 and PC 6. PC 1 and PC 6 should be 1s. Remaining all will be zeros because some of these pins we have used for some other LEDs along some other directions. So that I do not want to glow those LEDs. So what is the hexadecimal equivalent? 4 to H. So if I write move AL comma 4 to H, if you output onto port C, port C address is F E H comma A L. So these instructions will glow green along both north and south. Now we have to call the delay. So I will write the remaining program here. Call delay. This delay depends upon the, the traffic conditions of the particular junction. Okay. Then what you have to do is you have to glow yellow along all the directions so that it will be alert for the uh, vehicles crossing from north to south and south to north. 
they will assume that so red is going to be glow along these two directions and the people along west and east they will alert and uh, it's a signal for them that it is going to be green on in short duration okay so how to glow yellow along all the four directions so yellow is connected to pb2 pa2 pc7 and pc2 so pc7 pc2 if want pc2 should be 1 pc7 should be 1 so the remaining all will be zeros so the hexadecimal equivalent of this one will be 84h if I output 84H on port C, the yellow along north and south directions will be on. And in order to glow yellow along west and east, PB2 and PA2 has to be on. Okay. So, PA2, PB2. PB2 means this is PC. If I use this as PB, then this bit should be 1. So, that means 0, 4H. So, move. AL comma 0 4 H third 0 4 H means 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so I am going to output onto port A as well as port B port A is FCH comma AL port B is FDH comma AL so in this if I assume port A, PA naught, PA1, PA2, PA2 will be on, if I on output on to the port A and PB2 will be on if I output on to the port B. So, these three instructions will glow the yellow along north and south directions is on. And to on this uh, yellow along east and west directions, this 84H has to be sent to port C. So, we take this AL with 84H out along port C, whose address is FEH. So, this will on yellow along. West and East will be on. Then you have to call another delay. I will call this as call delay, the previous one has called delay 1. So, call delay 2, delay 2 is normally less than delay 1. Then you have to reverse the operation. So, now this step is over this step is over then you have to glow red along north and south green along w and uh, e then again you have to call delay you have to glow yellow along all the four directions call delay and the same process has to be repeated okay to glow red along north and south north and south red is connected to pc5 and pc0 so, PC naught should be 1, PC 5 should be 1, remaining all will be zeros. Means this should be 2 1 H. So, if I output 2 1 H along the port C, the red along north and south will be on. Move AL comma 21 H out FE comma L. So, with these two instructions read along north and south is on. Now, you have to on the green along west and east. So, green is connected to PB1 and PA1. So, for PB1 or PA1, the content that you have to take into AL will be last but one bit should be 1, means it should be 0 to H. So, you take 0 to H, move AL comma 0 to H 
out onto port A as well as port B. FCH, comma AL, out onto FDH, comma AL. So these three instructions will on green along. West and East. So this is over. This is over. Then you have to again call the delay. This delay will be same as the previous delay, which is called delay one. So this step is over. Now you have to glow yellow along all the four directions. Okay. So further the instructions are. These are the five instructions we have to use to glow yellow along all the four directions. Okay, so if I call these instructions as some A, I have to repeat the A here also, even including the call delay too. So this set of six instructions we have to repeat here. This A is set of six instructions. That A I am writing means here we have to replace six instructions. Then this will be over. This is over. Then we have to repeat from the starting. So an conditional jump to up. Where should be this up? Up should be again start with this point. So this will continuously perform the task that I have given in the this algorithm. This is how we can control the traffic lights along the four ways of a junction. Here I am taking only a simple problem where the passage is allowed from west to east or east to west, north to south or south to north. So west to south and south to east, these conditions I have not considered. Okay. So in a similar manner, you can extend to so any I mean uh, possible combinations. That depends upon the traffic conditions on the the Abir uh, Junction. Okay, so this is about the traffic light control using 8086. Next is if you want to connect any physical quantity, if you want to measure any physical quantity such as pressure, temperature, any other physical quantity, because this uh, microprocessor will be very much useful in industrial applications. Okay, nowadays also there are a lot of I mean uh, industries. Which uses the microprocessors as a controllers. Okay, so in order to I mean uh, measure non-electrical quantities for the measurement and uh, control of non-electrical quantities. using microprocessor. Any microprocessor. So, we have to use two devices, two ICs called unlocked to digital converter and digital to unlock converter. ADC and digital to unlock converter. DAC. So, this ADC and DAC play an important role in industrial control systems. Okay. So, why you have to use this unlock and digital converters, unlock to digital and digital to unlock converters. Okay. So, what is the reason is most of the physical quantities are non-electrical quantities. Most of the real world signals are non-electrical quantities. For example, if I take 
टेम्परेचर सो आई वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल द टेम्परेचर ऑफ ए फर्नेस दिस इज द फर्नेस आई वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल द टेम्परेचर इन साइड दिस आई वॉन्ट टू ऑपरेट ओवर ए पर्टिकुलर रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर्स दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन मेनी इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन सो टेम्परेचर इज ए नॉन इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी सो वॉट आर द वेरियस ऑपरेशन दैट यू हैव टू डू इज वी कैन कन्वर्ट सम हाउ दिस टेम्परेचर टू सो यू कैन प्लेस ए सेंसार हियर टेम्परेचर सेंसार विच ऑल्सो कैन बी कॉल्ड एज ए ट्रांसड्यूजर ए ट्रांसड्यूजर इज ए डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट्स नॉन इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी सो हियर द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस वन विल बी इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी इनपुट फॉर द ट्रांसड्यूजर विल बी आर सेंसर दिस कैन बी ए सेंसर और ट्रांसड्यूजर इनपुट विल बी नॉन इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी आउटपुट विल बी इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी so this if i take this uh, example says rtd is one of the temperature sensor which is called resistance dependent temperature so this actually the principle of this one is the resistance varies with the temperature resistance is proportional to temperature if i measure this change in resistance which is measure of temperature how to measure the change in resistance we can use some bridge okay after that we will get some electrical quantity still this electrical quantity is unlocked another thing is here so most of these things are non electrical quantities we can convert the non electrical into electrical using transducer again this electrical quantity is unlocked in nature unlock or you can call as continuous time signals if i want to process this continuous time signal or analog signals using microprocessor microprocessor is a digital device now we have converted non electrical into electrical by using transducer or sensor i cannot apply this electrical signal which is analog in nature i cannot connect this directly to the microprocessor so for that what is required is a a to d converter unlock to digital converter now we'll get digital data this will be bits this i can connect to the microprocessor this microprocessor can be any microprocessor so in this course we are discussing about 8086 but this can be any microprocessor similarly after performing the various operations in this microprocessor finally i have to mean a control a non electrical quantity okay so i can send this digital signal from here if i want to control non electrical quantity so this is something like if i want to mean a uh, control a fan or heater okay if i have a fan or heater here i want to drive the fan so this fan cannot be driven by using digital signals so what you have to do is you have to convert this digital quantity into analog by using dac so this is analog now this is digital this is analog which can be used to control the various analog appliances okay that is why in between the processing is in digital domain but the input side and uh, the final output will be analog signals okay so we need to use a to d converter and d to a converter now the question is how to connect this a to d converter to the microprocessor and d to a converter to the microprocessor okay first i'll discuss about the interfacing of this a to d and d to a converters to the microprocessor after that using this interfacing i'll consider some examples where the physical quantities i'll take the same example of say temperature control and measurement using microprocessor okay so first i'll discuss about the interfacing of adc to the 8086 
you can also call it as ADC or A to D converter. There are basically many types of A to D converters. Okay. There are basically four types of A to D converter. The most commonly used A to D converter in microprocessors is successive approximation type A to D converter. Because the speed of successive approximation A to D converter is more. Microprocessor is a fast device. So, we have to use a faster uh, converters. So, among the uh, all the converters, successive approximation type A to D converter is faster. So, most of the microprocessors uses successive approximation type A to D converter. Okay. So, what is the principle of this uh, successive approximation type A to D converter? Basically, we will be having analog signal which has to be converted into digital. So, I will take the analog signal, this is analog signal V A which has to be converted into digital. Okay. So, what I will do is here I will start with if suppose if I want a 3 bit equivalent of this I am going to use 3 bit A to D converter. So, in general uh, in most of the practical applications we will use 8 bit or 12 bit for the explanation purpose I am assuming a 3 bit A to D converter. So, I want 3 bit uh, this is analog signal. What is the 3 bit equivalent of digital signal? I will assume here for the sake of simplicity only V A can assume only the integer values from 0 to 7 and the corresponding digital value that I am going to expect is this is analog I will assume that 0 volts correspondingly 3 bit means 0 0 0 1 volt 0 0 1 2 volts 0 1 0 3 volts 0 1 1 this is basically binary equivalent of this decimal value 4 volts 1 0 0 5 volts 1 0 1 6 volts 1 1 0 7 volts 1 1 1. Okay. So, initially what we are going to do is here we are going to use a D to A converter also inside the A to D converter there will be a D to A converter. Okay. So, I will take a value to the D to A converter this is DAC. I will compare this with the analog value using a comparator, this digital value, this is 3 bit equivalent digital value, this will be given to the comparator. Depends upon whether this analog equivalent of this digital signal is greater than or less than this V A, we will accordingly set or reset the bits. Okay. So, the algorithm will be something like this. First, I will start with whatever the analog voltage. I will start with 100. MSB bit I will make as 1. And this MSB 100 will be converted into analog signal, which is 4 volts using DAC. Now, we will compare with VA. So, if this 4 volts is greater than VA, what I will do is there are two conditions arise here. After converting this 100 into analog voltage that is 4 volts, so this can be greater than or less than V A. Okay. So, if this is greater than V A, I will keep that first MSB bit as it is because this is still greater, greater means the value is more than this 100. So, I will keep this MSB bit as it is, then I will make second MSB also 1, third MSB will be 0. This is the case if Analog equivalent of 100 is greater than V A. 
if one log equivalent of 100 is less than V A, that means this 100 is a larger value. So, I will uh, reset the first MSB bit to 0 and I will make next MSB bit to 1, then 0. Okay. Now, coming over here, I will compare again the analog equivalent of this value which is 6. So, if this value is greater than the analog value which is to be converted into digital, I will keep this first two bits 1 1, I will make third bit as 1 okay, if this value is greater than. If this is less than then I will reset the second value and I will make third value as 1 because this is already less than. So, this 1 1 0 is less than means it is less than 6. So, I will make this second bit as 0 and then I will make this as 5. Here also we have two possibilities. This can be greater than or less than. This can be greater than. Greater than means I will keep this one as it is and I will make the next bit also 1. Less than means this 2 is less than means I will make this 2 as the second bit 1 as 0 and I will make 1. Similarly, now we have three things, two here. So, if it is greater than then I will make 1 1 1 as it is because I have only this three options, only this option only. Then the other option is if it is uh, less than I will make 1 1 0. Here also we have two things, either I can keep these three bits as it is 1 0 1 in case if it is greater than or equal and otherwise I will make third bit as 0. Similarly, here I can keep this value as it is 0 1 1 or 0 1 0. Here also I can keep this value as it is which is 0 0 1 or I will reset the last value 0 0 0. Now, here you see all the 8 possibilities are there. Okay. So, like that it will converge here. Let us assume that the given analog voltage is say for example, 7 volts. Okay. Now, what is the flow? First I will take this 4, 4. So, 4 is less than. Okay. So, I have to make this is less than and this is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than. Similarly, this is less than this is greater than. So, 4 is less than, so I will go to 1 1 0, 6. 6 is also still less than, I will go to 7. Okay. This will be stopped here. Okay. If I take say for example, this is some 2 volts. Then first I will take the 4, 4 is I mean uh, greater than 2, so I will go to this one 2. 2 is equal, so I have to stop here. Okay. So, this will remain 2 only. So, after that we will not go and we will stop here itself. Okay. So, that 2 is coming here as 2. Okay. So, like that we can find out the 3 bit uh, binary equivalent of the analog signal. This is the principle behind successive approximation type A to D converter. Okay. So, the conversion time here will be more. Now, there are different I mean uh, ICs for this uh, A to D converters. The ICs uh, of A to D converter will be of the order of 0, 8, 0, x. x varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to 5. Means it can be 0, 8, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 1, 0, 8, 0, 2, 0, 8, 0, 3. 0804 or 0805. Okay. So, the, if I take the interfacing diagram of A to D converter to microprocessor, this A to D converter I am considering here 0804. It is a 20 pin IC with the signals represented by this. This is ADC 0804. So, the different signals are we have a data bus because this is 8 bit 
a to d converter this is 8 bit a to d converter. So, input is analog value output will be digital value this is 8 bit d 7 to d naught this is 8 bit digital output. and you should have some unlock signal. So, unlock signal will be we have two unlock signals this is one is called V in plus and that is called V in minus. Here this thing is V in plus and V in minus two inputs are the analog signals to V in minus these are called analog inputs. Why two signals are required is so the given input signal can be either positive or negative or it can be a differential signal ok. We can apply the sinusoidal type of signals also ok. So, if the input analog input signal is input is only positive I want to mean convert only the positive values into digital equivalent. What I will do is I will connect the input to the V in plus at V in plus we will connect the input analog input which is to be converted into digital and simply V in minus is to be grounded. This is the case if you want to use the positive input. If the input is negative, I want to only convert the negative analog signals into corresponding digital equivalent. Then the reverse analog input has to be connected to V in minus V in minus and V in plus has to be grounded. If I want to I mean uh, use input is differential, if the input is differential means it will be having positive values as well as negative values. Then I will connect that between V in plus and V in minus, here I will connect the input signal. between V in plus plus 2 plus minus 2 minus. Okay. Here I am assuming that V in minus I am going to ground this along with some other signals. Means that I want to use only for positive signals V in is input signal is positive. Okay. Then in addition to this A to D converter requires some clock the time taken to convert this analog signal to digital signal is decided by clock. Clock has to be connected between the two uh, pins one is called CLR CLKR clock R you have to connect externally R and C which is going to decide the frequency of this particular clock CLK in if this is R and this is C then the frequency of this clock is decided by frequency is equal to 1 by 1.1 RC. By properly choosing this R and C values we can find out the frequencies. Similarly, this will have some chip select signal that also has to be grounded in order to mean perform any operation chip select has to be grounded this is chip select signal this also I am connecting to ground common ground and we have read bar signal this also you have to ground for read operation whenever this conversion is over we have to read the digital data here for that RD bar should be 0 and then we have two grounds one is called analog ground another is called digital ground this is A ground this is D ground. 
totally five signals we are going to ground here one is v in minus chip select bar rd bar analog ground and digital ground so what is the reason for using the two grounds analog ground and digital ground because this is a mixed signal device this is a mixed signal device we have analog signal as well as digital signal mixed signal circuit so that is why we have analog ground as well as digital ground okay if i use two grounds it will reduce the noise that is the reason why we will use two grounds okay coming for the other side we have one right bar signal also so this right bar signal will add a start of conversion signal i will explain this right of right bar signal and then we have intr signal this right bar is output signal intr is input signal and then we have v reference by 2 this is normally made open if this is open this will assume vcc which is normally 5 volts if i want to use other volts other voltage here we have to connect this to if i want to i mean operate a maximum voltage of 4 volts you have to connect here 2 volts if i want the maximum voltage of 2 volts you have to connect 1 volt this is v reference by 2 okay now coming for the connections to this uh, 8086 so you have to connect to through 8255 we know that so any i mean uh, iowa device has to be connected through 8255 This is eight two five five. How to connect this eight two five five to eight zero eight six? We discussed in the earlier classes to eight zero eight six. Then this digital has to be connected to eight two five five. Is also having eight bit data bus. I'll connect just simply these two data bus together. So that the data transfer can be takes place between ADC and A two five five. This is D seven to D not of A two five five. So earlier we have discussed there is a eight bit data bus there also. Okay. I will connect these to one of the ports of A two five five. I will say use port A. I'll connect this to port A of A two five five, whose address is F C H. Then I'll connect this to one of the pins. This is a single uh, signal. I'll call as this one as some P C three. This I have to connect as input port. This is going to be input port, and this has to be output port. This I'll connect to P C seven. It's up to you. Okay. Here the operation is basically. First, the microprocessor has to be initiate. From here, microprocessor connection is there. So this will start conversion through this eight two five five. So this is uh, reverse. This W R bar is output pin, and I N T R B is input pin. This is output. This is input. So this is input pin. So the operation here is W R bar will act as start of conversion signal. start of conversion signal so whenever the microprocessor want to read some data from the a to d converter so what the microprocessor will do is first the microprocessor will uh, initiate adc through start of conversion signal so here in this particular uh, adc 0804 if i apply a low to high transition
then the conversion will start. Whenever this W R bar is low, this A D C will be reset. Whenever it goes to high, this will start conversion. Okay. So, low means this will reset the A A D C. This will reset the A D C. And whenever this is high, conversion begins. So after the conversion is over, this INTR signal becomes zero. INTR bar becomes zero. INTR bar becomes zero once the conversion is completed. This is the process. Now I will write the program to read the digital equivalent of this analog value into, say, some register or some location. It's up to you. Okay. Suppose if I want to take digital equivalent of this one into some register, say the digital equivalent of this value I want to take into register, say BL. BL I want to store the digital equivalent of the given analog signal. So for that we have to write the program using 8086 instructions. So the first part of the program will be initialization. So you have to program this port A as input port. This is going to take the data. Port A should be input port and this should be output port. Port C this comes to lower, port C lower. Port C upper has to be input port. So what is the control over register for this? So if I take the control over register, the last bit is port C lower. This should be output zero. Then port B, we are not using. I am using as output port. Mode selection for port B, I am using mode zero. Then port C upper. This should be one because port C upper we are going to use as input port. And this is Port A, port A has to be used as input port, so this should be one. Mode selection for port A is I am going to use in mode zero, and then this is your mode control which signal which is equal to one. So what is the corresponding hexadecimal? This is nine eight H. If I enter this nine eight H into the control register of this eight two five five whose address is FFH. Then this will set port A as input port through which the data will be read, and port C lower as output port, port C upper as input port. This is the first instructions. So move AL comma 98H out control register address is FFH comma AL. So these two instruction will set port A as input port in mode zero, port C lower as output port, port C upper as input port, all in mode zero. Okay. So after that, what you have to do? You have to start the conversion. Means you have to first make this signal. You send here low. Okay. Then after that, you have to send high. Then the conversion will start. After that, you check this signal, input signal. If this input signal is zero, means conversion is over. If this is one, you have to wait until this is equal to zero. Once this is equal to zero, you simply read the data. That is the procedure. Okay. So first, I want to send a low over this PC three and then high over PC three. So what are the instructions for that? Low over PC three. PC three means PC seven, PC. Six PC five, PC four, PC three, PC two, PC one, PC not. So because I am using PC three, PC three should be initially zero. So I can make 
all zeros so we can take mu al comma 0 0 h out port c address is f e h comma al this will make all the pins of port c as low but i want only the pc3 which is equal to which is connected to right bar this will becomes low a low to high transition is required so what is the time between the low to high transition a small amount of the time which is the time taken to execute these instructions is enough so no need of uh, delay routines here then i will make move al comma i want only pc3 is on means this should be 0 8h out feh comma l now what happens pc3 will be wr bar which is equal to high so there is a high to low transition what is the transition time is the transition time is to execute this and this instruction that time is enough to I mean activate the a to d converter ok now the conversion will start i have to check whether the conversion is over or not so conversion end of the conversion signal which will act as intr signal which is connected to pc7 i have to check pc7 if pc7 is 0 conversion is over if pc7 is 1 conversion is not yet over so i will input the contents of port c so the instruction will be in in al comma feh and we have to rotate left r o l al comma 0 1 in AL we will be having port C contents so in that MSB bit is PC7 which is connected to so when we are checking here PC7 bit will comes into carry jump on carry if carry is there what does it mean if this is true jump on carry wait jump on carry means PC7 is 1 means conversion is not over PC7 which is equal to INTR bar 1 means conversion is not yet over so I will just simply wait where you have to wait we have to input this again you have to input this and you have to rotate for the MSB bit you can use here ROL or RLC also through carry so when does it will come out of this loop is whenever PC7 is equal to 0 which is equal to INTR bar whenever this is equal to 0 this will come out of the loop means conversion is over now where the data is available in port A so you have to read that port A in AL comma port A address is FCH I want to store this data into BL register so we can move contents of AL onto BL you can stop if you want to read only once if you want to continuously read instead of halt you can write jump to up this up is again this so in this way you can read the digital equivalent of the analog signal using ADC ok so you will see the more details like how the conversion has to be takes place and uh, what are the exact uh, digital equivalent of the analog signals and what is the resolution of A to D converters in the next class. Thank you.